I will tell you from my uh, perspective of being the budget chair is we're committed to moving forward with a balanced budget approach. And so we're going to be looking at things maybe a little differently than the president does, but that's our prerogative. Um, we do have the power of the purse, and uh, not necessarily are our budgets going to look exactly the same. So we're committed to moving forward with looking at trying to get some uh, sustainability in our, in our budgeting. How much distance, though, do you think, given what you've read uh, about what we may hear this evening, is between where you may stand uh, and perhaps uh, where Paul Ryan has stood historically and where the president stands right now? Well, I think that you'll see a very similar thing to what we have had in the past where we want to go into each one of these agencies and we want to take a look to see if the dollars are being used efficiently and where we can slim down. Obviously, um, headed into $20 trillion worth of debt, we can't continue to grow at that pace. And so it is up to the budget and the budget committee members uh, to come out with a plan that is uh, shows that we can get our budget in order and that it's sustainable. Uh, President uh, Trump acknowledged recently that he does have to, or at least wants to, uh, try to repeal Obamacare first from a tactical perspective in terms of before he goes after uh, the tax issue, uh, given what it does to the budget and, and, and how you square those things up. How difficult do you think it's going to be uh, to get Obamacare done first, and to the extent that there's political capital that's going to be used on that, what does it mean later when we get to the tax front? Well, I can tell you this: we're committed again to repealing this uh, this bill that that or this piece of legislation that has really hurt. Uh, people in my district and all over this country, we see rising deductibles, um, rising co-pays. People may have an insurance card, but they're unable to use their insurance because of deductibles. As a matter of fact, in the state of Tennessee, we actually have some areas that we have no insurers being willing to be in the marketplace uh, any longer. And so uh, we see that it's collapsing all around us, and we hear every day in our office from people to say, help us, help us. And that's what we're committed to do, is we're committed to repeal uh, a broken law that is falling apart under its own weight and put something in that is more patient-centered. Do you imagine uh, that some of this can be done in a bipartisan way, which is to say, do you think Democrats are going to come along and vote with you? Well, I would hope that we make a case for what is going on, not just in our own districts, but also in their districts as well. I can't believe that they're not hearing the same kind of um, uh, of information from their constituency that we're hearing. And so I'm hoping at the end of the day that they're going to come on board with us and say, yes, we do need to do something to give people some relief and to rescue them from this falling um, plan. Circling back to the tax front, one of the big issues that we talk about on this show a lot is the border adjustment tax. Uh, where do you stand on that? Well, let's first of all say what this country is. It's a manufacturing country. And we ought to be committed to make sure that we do everything we can to be fair to our manufacturers. We don't need to penalize them for manufacturing their product here in this country. There's still more conversation to be had, but I think if we can just start out with that as a basis, that we want to be sure that everything we do is not a penalty on our manufacturers, but gives them the best opportunity to be the best trading partner in the entire world. Congresswoman, does, does, what does that mean in terms of the border adjustment tax? Because that's where the Republican Party can't seem to agree. Well, as I say, we're just at the beginning of that. We've been working really hard on the Obamacare. We're doing both things at the same time. The Obamacare and the repeal of that is um, essential right now, and it is taking all, most of the time. But we have begun talking about how we can be more fair to our manufacturers, because right now they are at a disadvantage. Um, with the VAT tax and what we do here in this country with taxing our products as they leave. And so we've so, got to find a way to make that more um, equal and fair to our manufacturers. So just to put, to, to, to put a point on it, it, it sounds like you are a supporter of a border adjustment tax of some sort. I, I am supportive of making sure that we don't disadvantage our manufacturers. However we get to that, as, as I say, the conversation has begun, but we have a lot more conversation to be had. But I am very concerned uh, that we don't disadvantage our manufacturers. And uh, finally, just help us with this uh, tactically, timing-wise. Uh, we've heard the president uh, and uh, Stephen Mnuchin, who was talking to Becky last week, uh, talk about trying to get this tax proposal done uh, before you all uh, all go away uh, in August, uh, on vacation, that is. Uh, <laughs> Do you think that that's realistic, <laughs> given uh, both uh, the repeal of Obamacare that you've just talked about uh, and, and trying to work through the tax plan? 
Well, first of all, let me just say August break is not necessarily a vacation for everyone. It is a time for us to get back to our districts, and I do a lot of work during that time. But um, I do believe that we can come together. We've got a lot of ideas that are on the table, and it's a matter of coming together and putting it together in a plan that's cohesive and um, making this country uh, great again, right. as uh, this president has okay. continued to say. That you already see that, right. the, that the economy is growing, and that's what we want. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.